Hold on. All right. What's up, guys? This is Nick. We're back with another episode of Virtual Tailgate. Today, what we're doing while we're in quarantine, if you haven't gotten anything together for Easter lunch, you've got one day. We're going to do a porchetta for Easter lunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pork belly, as you see here. This is a pretty one. We've got some good meat on the bottom, uh, but we still have our fat on the top. What we're going to do is stuff that with some Jerry Lee's green onion sausage. And then we're going to put some traditional seasonings in there as well. Uh, but first off, what we want to do is prepare the pork belly. We want to score the skin. That way it renders down. We give it more opportunity to render. We're going to have tons of fat in this thing, but it's going to drip out and we're going to be left with some tenderoni juicy morsels that you would be proud to serve your immediate family for Easter. So first thing, we're just going to take a very sharp knife. Well, we want to just kind of crisscross this and not go all the way through. We just want to score the skin. And this will help get this tough skin crackled. We really want those cracklings. That's really what you're doing this pork belly for anyhow. Pork is pork, right? But the cracklings is worth the price of admission. What we're looking for is surface area so we can roll, get that good roll going on. Now you want a very sharp knife here. The bigger, the better. And you're just going to butterfly your meat. as evenly as possible. But if you make a mistake, if you go too light or too deep or anything, you've got a little bit of leeway because you're gonna roll this up. Uh, you gotta get your grinder out or if you got a mortar and pestle, use that. Um, I'm gonna start with some peppercorn and we're gonna go we're gonna crush these up until they're coarse ground. It's gonna not be, you don't want the whole pepper corn in your mouth. Fennel seeds, some thyme leaves, Italian seasoning, sriracha seasoning, granulated garlic, veal and pork magic. We're gonna sprinkle a little salt in here. And then we're gonna add our fennel back and the black pepper. Get these all mixed together. Uh, it's going to break it down and get everything married. So we have our seasoning. Now we can get our smoker ready. Okay, for our seasoning, first we're going to put our wet ingredients and then we're going to add our dry seasoning. So I'm going to take some oil. It could be any type of oil, canola, olive. Remember, this is really going to be used for sticking the seasoning. We want the seasoning to adhere to the meat. All right, then we're going to put a little bit of lemon juice in here. Then we're going to put some chopped garlic all the way through. Kind of rub it around. You want an even distribution. Absolutely. Okay, now we're going to go. Now we're going to season the inside and the outside. And remember, we've got some sausage that's going to go in here as well which the sausage has already been seasoned so keep that in mind while you're seasoning got some rosemary that we're going to put in
Okay, now for our sausage. You're gonna want to take this out of the casing. And when you have your fresh sausage like this, just split the casing. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Now, I have I have here about a pound worth of links. And you may not need all of this. So keep your links and only open what you need. Look how beautiful this sausage is. This is a green onion seasoned sausage from Jerry Lee's in Baton Rouge. This is the one that I grabbed today. Now, that we have our stuffing in, you're going to want to go ahead and roll. And you should have a beautiful thing sitting right in front of you. We have some butcher's twine here. And I'm going to show you the, the method where you don't cut it. You can, however you feel comfortable, with the twine. What we're gonna do is use the one string method. And you're gonna get a piece. This is the skill part. Once you do it a couple of times, you kind of get your eyeball down. Get a piece as long as you think it should be. Now you're gonna go underneath the meat. Once you get your initial tie tied off, and make kind of a slip knot on that if you're in Boy Scouts, you remember what a slip knot is. And this is going to be a taut line hitch, so to speak. You're going to loop it around. And if you can see here, we loop it, we go underneath, and we have our string. Then we loop it back through, tighten it up, and it will, when you bring it back, line straight back up. Now what this does is creates basically a net effect. Once you tie one, it all tightens. Even if you go loose at first, it's gonna tighten right up, line up, and tighten up. Now on your last one, just tie it off. And you're gonna need to do a couple of knots there. Take your end piece, come around, and we want to kind of button it up. So, as much string as you have left, kind of go with that, and we're going to tighten and put that through. Stretch it out. Nice and even. You don't want any kind of stuffing coming out. We're gonna be generous. We want a nice crust out here. Now we have our beautiful little package ready for the smoker. Into the smoker. We're going to take these sausages. We're going to put them over the top. And what that's going to do is it's going to drip and we're going to get our base that we were looking for. All right, see you guys in a couple hours. So when we're dealing with the pork belly in this nature, think of it just like when you're making cracklings in the pot. You've got to render out as much fat as you can 
and then you blast them for the second time to get that pop. We're gonna pull this roast out when it hits about 140 and then we're going to take it out, let it sit for a second and we're gonna blast it in the oven inside at 500 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna have that good crackling on the outside. Now what we're trying to do is achieve the crackling on the outside of the porchetta. We could definitely put it in the oven at 500 degrees or we can break out the little friend. decadent fat is just dripping down the pork you have your beautiful sausage stuffing it's really great really decadent perfect for Easter Sunday with just a few people but it's very rich remember that a little bit is gonna go a long ways make a little side of green beans some rice dressing things like that believe me um, that gravy is gonna go on some rice here in the near future uh, so Hope everybody enjoyed um, the video. So we're still in the quarantine. Enjoy the quarantine. Remember, every day is game day. How do you virtual tailgate?